Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. Today, a smoker episode. So, what we're making today is smoked, exotic, five spice chicken wings. But, here the night before, we have some work to do to maximize the flavor. We're gonna make the marinade right now. So, into a bowl goes one cup of honey, half a cup of canola oil, and as always, all of the ingredients, their amounts, and the directions are down in the description. Here we have about four teaspoons of fresh minced ginger, four teaspoons of Chinese five spice spice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon or a half, depending on where you want your spice level, of cayenne pepper. Now we're gonna get that all whisked up. Now you have a choice here. Um, a lot of recipes tell you to cut your chicken wings, divide the flat from the drum. But uh, when you're smoking, that just gives you twice as many things to flip out there, right? So I like to keep them together when I'm doing smoked wings or when I'm doing grilled wings. Okay, that's all mixed up. Now get yourself a huge Ziploc bag. What I have here is a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag. In there I'm gonna put my wings. This is enough marinade for three to five pounds of wings. I happen to have right about four and a half. And you see what's coming next. Galley of the Sun viewers ain't no dummies. I'll tell you what. The marinade goes on the chicken in the bag. All right, so we got the chicken in the bag, we got the marinade in the bag. Now we're gonna seal that up, get as much air out as possible. Then we're gonna work that around and make sure our chicken, every bit of it gets covered. And with this dark of a marinade, it's gonna be pretty easy to tell. Once we have this well covered and well coated, and we're happy with it, we're gonna chuck it in the refrigerator and leave it there overnight. We will see you tomorrow as we turn this into a masterpiece. See you then. So here we are on chicken wing day. The chicken wings have been marinating for uh, about 20 hours. So full disclosure, what I should have done last night is reserve some of that marinade to use as a baste as these chicken wings are smoking. So I, I did not. However, comma, I don't think it's going to be an issue because I marinated them so long. If you only find yourself with two or four hours to marinate them, then definitely you want to save that back for basting. So what I'm going to do to supplement today is every half hour or so, I'm going to go out there and spritz them with water. The idea there is once the outside of the wings hit about 212 degrees, and they're releasing moisture, then they're no longer going to receive smoke flavor. But if I can use that uh, water spritz to cool down the skin a little bit, then we can get some more smoke flavor into them. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. So, let me go grab the wings. Now, some of you might say, well, hey dummy, why don't you just get your wings out of the bag use the reserve sauce that's left over and use that to baste them. The reason is I would probably be safe with the first half hour and maybe the second half hour. They're gonna smoke for two hours. But what I would have to be sure of would be that marinade getting up to the temperature it takes to kill any bacteria from the raw chicken off of that marinade. And that's a risk that's just not worth it, right? So that's why you wanna keep them separate you want to have your basting sauce never touching the raw meat, especially when you're dealing with chicken. So we're just going to take these and try and keep some of the, the sauce back just to minimize the mess. Like I said, I'm not going to use it, but uh, get these dumped out here. Well, it, okay, I maximized the mess. That didn't work, but that's fine. Now I've got the wings out here. We're going to take these out to the smoker and get them in there and let them go for about two hours. Uh, the smoker's preheating to 200. The smoker is preheated to 250 degrees. Let's go do it. All right, we're at temperature. Let's get those wings on there. We're gonna put them on the top shelf as far away from the heat as we can get them. So they'll sit in there as long as possible before they hit temperature, soaking up that great smoke flavor like we talked about.
Okay, after about an hour, we'll rotate the ones that are over here with the ones that are over here so everything gets even cooked. See you in a couple hours. All right, chicken's in. It is looking glorious. It's all done but the tasting. So, we will bring in our lovely assistant, the director, to tell us how well we did. They're almost too pretty to eat, aren't they? Yeah. They're hot. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. So it got some good five spice, five spice flavor. Smells, smells good. Tastes like that roasted duck at the Chinese restaurants. Oh, chicken that tastes like duck. Imagine that. All right, there you go. Hey, you want to give this a try. Thank you so much for joining us. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. What is your favorite wings? We'd love to know because we love wings and we might try them. Hey, until we see you, oh, go ahead. Maybe. Maybe. Because I like wings. She likes wings, therefore we cook wings. All right, until we see you next time. Fair winds and following seas.